guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly and I'm here to do a little something different today. Um, I just had a pickle jar emptied and I decided to uh, wash it out and do something with it instead of having it just sit around. I don't always keep them, but um, these are really good thick glass and um, sometimes I use them for screws and nails and um, hardware from taking apart furniture and stuff and I stick them in and I've got a ton saved up so I thought well let's try something a little different with this um, so we're going to use a pickle jar today and I have this these napkins these are beautiful I got these from Jamie Ray Vintage um, I was doing a furniture project and I wanted these it was kind of a china cabinet type of thing and the back wall I wanted something um, really pretty and dainty to put in the on the back and so I painted it and I saw these on Jamie Ray Vintage and I was like oh it's perfect I had the color was like a grayish color that's kind of in this it was like a gray brown so the background is a gray brown here and um, I just thought these were this was just so pretty um, and so and these are napkins so I got I bought I don't know how many I bought a whole bunch of them um, two or three stacks of them because I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need uh, I'd never worked with napkins on furniture like that before so I was a little bit I said well if I have extra then I know I have it because I won't be able to just go out and buy this stuff so I have a bunch extra now <laughs> And this is going to use up a lot, but I thought, well, this is going to be really pretty, I hope. Um, and so I thought what I'd do is take this napkin and um, Mod Podge it to this jar and um, cover it over with more Mod Podge and then dry it and let it uh, put a candle in there. I think it would be really pretty. So I want to decorate it up a little bit. Um, so what you have to do with working with napkins typically is you need to take the backing off. Some, some have three or four uh, layers to their napkins. This only has two. So I started it so you wouldn't sit here and watch me try and <laughs> find the edge so that I could get it on there. Um, but yeah, so it's just one layer now. It's see-through uh, and that's what I want because when I put the candle in I want to be able to see through um, the jar a little bit so you can see the glow of the candle inside. So, and what I want to do is not have it smooth. I want it kind of wrinkly and maybe even rip it a little and then just kind of go over it with some more and not a lot because I don't want it too thick but just make it, I don't know, just kind of off. <laughs> So it's not completely, I want it all covered, but I don't want it uh, perfect um, in any way. So anyway, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to put a little bit of this um, Mod Podge in my lid because I know I'm going to need need quite a bit in a plate. And I poured out a little bit of Mod Podge um, on my cover. And I'm not going to worry too much about going all the way to the top, which I probably will do quite a bit of it because I've got a lot of napkin here that I can use. Um, but I think I'm going to do a little something around the top, so it'll be okay. So kind of finish the edge off a little bit. But anyway, So you just start putting it on and see I've got wrinkles and that's okay. Once it gets wet, you gotta be careful because it will rip, which is fine, I can just cover it over. Um, again, I don't want this to be perfect.
just love this napkin. I love it. All right, so I'm trying not to touch the napkin because my hands are getting sticky. And um, I don't know if I want to wrap that around. Maybe I will a little bit. Let's see if we can cut a little bit off, though. We don't need all that. You can wrap it around, kind of finish off that edge. There we go. Get rid of that excess. I still want it to sit flat, so. And then I'm just gluing the, or Mod Podging the bottom and wrapping that around. There. Just a quick, simple little project. Um, I've seen so many napkins in different places and said, wow, I wish I could find something to do with that because they're beautiful. And, um, oh, and uh, they really are. I mean, this is just a great way to use up and show off your napkins. So I got it dry, it didn't take too long. It was pretty good. I mean, it's not complete, complete, but it's, it's pretty darn close, pretty close. So you can see through it, pretty cool. Um, so I grabbed, I have this piece of lace tablecloth, I guess it is. I don't even know where it came from, um, but it had a big old rip in it. And I grabbed it and I said, I'm going to take that and use it for something, I'm sure. So um, I decided that I would cut a piece off so that I could wrap it around and just give that little lacy look on it. I thought of hanging it down over and kind of draping it, but I didn't want to really cover it up that much. So all I'm doing is taking my piece of lace that I cut like that. And love these glue danglies um, like that. And I'm just folding it over. I'm gluing it and folding it over. And if I go to, it's kind of get a scalloped end to it. And I'll show you guys in just a minute. So if it goes over the scallop, I'm, um, trimming it so that you can still see the scalloped part. I'm just going to tie it around the neck. So I don't know how much of that's going to show because I'm also going to put some twine, but you never know. There we go. I'll just leave that on there. Oh, we're sticking to the table. So, oh, that's good. Not bad. So I don't know how much of that you can see, but it's got a scalloped, scalloped edge to it. Just a slight, it's not a lot. But anyway, I wanted to take the glued part, I'm trying to figure out, can't see with my glasses on or off. So, all right, I wanna find my front, which would be here. And I'm just gonna wrap it around and do like a little bow 
and have that little scalloped part just kind of hanging down some of and pushing it down some of it's going to be covered but some of it's going to show so i'm going to do two i'm going to do a little knot and have it hanging i'll have to glue that so that it stays so then i'm going to take this twine i think and wrap it around until i cover up this whole top of the glass so i'm just going to push down on my lace because I still want to be able to see it and then this is my back so I'm gonna start glue a big button. <laughs> it's huge. It's great. That's all right. That's cute. I think that came out pretty cute. We'll put a candle in it and see how well it, you can see it, how well it glows in there. So I decided to use some little string lights, the little rice lights in here. Uh, so this first one is with the warm white that I had kicking around. And then the, the next part will be with the cool white uh, rice lights. So I thought I'd just change it up and see, you know, it all depends on your decor, I suppose, what you would like. So let me know if you guys like this. Which color would you rather, the warm yellowish white lights or the cool bluish lights? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.